Hi, I'm Ron Lyle, and welcome to Ask a Developer. Our first question is from Dewey, and he asks, I'm building an app that has a lot of images. Should I go native? I'm guessing the concern is the amount of time it would take to download those if it's just a simple web page. And yes, with a native app, you could include the images within the app itself. However, you can also perform what's referred to as lazy loading, and that's where you bring down the images in the background so you don't hold up displaying the web page. Uh, and you use JavaScript to kick off the downloads of each images and display them as they arrive. You can do the same thing with a native app. Sometimes an app needs to access so many images that containing them all within the app uh, isn't practical. So either way, lazy loading may be the solution to that. A third option is to build a hybrid app using something like PhoneGap, where you build a responsive web app and then embed it as a native iOS application using PhoneGap. In that case, the images can be contained within the app also, reducing the need to have to download them. Our second question comes from Kayayi, and he asks, where can I get some samples for using the iCloud API? The definitive source for iCloud API information, of course, would come from Apple, their developer site. In addition to the documentation they have there, there have also been a couple videos from the last Worldwide Developer Conferences, both 2012 and 2013. And finally, lynda.com has several video courses that talk about using not just iCloud, but other cloud services also. Also, there are several videos on lynda.com that will help you learn how to access not just iCloud, but other cloud services also. For some actual code examples, go to github.com. I did a search on the term iCloud and got 176 hits. That'll give you plenty of code to look through. So if you're looking for code examples, you can go to GitHub. Apple provides some on their developer website along with the definitive documentation. Or if you're interested in watching a video about it, you can look through the Apple WWDC videos or go to lynda.com. And that's it for this episode of Ask a Developer. If you have questions, you can tweet them to hashtag AskADev or just leave your question in the comments.